got a doctor here. <laughs> Hello, today I thought I would do a really quick um, vlog to kind of explain how I've been feeling since going back to work. Um, I took a um, leave, a maternity leave from work for about five years. <laughs> you can say hi. Hi. So yeah, I took a leave from work for five years. You're a doctor, you are a doctor, aren't you? You're gonna go and look at your medical kit. Should no. we go and get some more medical no. kit? No. Sorry, before I was interrupted, um, I was trying to s explain how I've been feeling since I've gone back to work. And it, it has been really weird going back to work after five years of being a stay-at-home mum. And as much as I love it, it's been really tough in terms of two things. The first thing is how the kids have reacted to me going back to work and I think they struggle quite a bit um, because they just seem to be so much more clingy to me than they were before. Literally if I go anywhere um, they're always wanting to go with me, um, even the day-to-day -day tasks they want me to do it so like this morning Annabelle um, had to go to school and Andy is off because he um, his kind of like terms don't uh, tally up with Annabelle's and so he offered to take her to school for me so I wouldn't have to do the school run and Annabelle just wanted me to do it and we managed to kind of persuade her to let Andy um, take her because I said I'd pick her up she yeah she kind of did eventually kind of come round to the idea but her initial kind of reaction is to that I do everything for her it's just like even things like helping her brush her teeth um, she wanted me to be there and just to do her hair and all those kind of tasks and I think it's because if we're in a routine it's not so bad um so when andy's at work um and i'm going to work i'll like get her ready get heath ready go drop them both off um and then go to work um and then that kind of routine it kind of goes okay but if it comes to like holiday times then i think that throws everything off a bit and um and Heath gets quite emotional as well. He will cry when I leave um, him in the mornings if Andy, if he's just with Andy. If it's the routine where um, I drop him off, then he won't cry at all um, before I go to work. But it's just if it's a difference in the routine, then that's what throws him off. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Such a pest. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh dear, um, I don't even remember what I was saying now. <laughs> okay, um, so yeah, if it's just um, a normal routine, it's fine. If it's the holidays, then that is what throws us off. Um, but in terms of actually me going to work, I love it. I love being at work. I like the kind of day-to-day Part of it it does get to Sunday sometimes and I think oh I've got to do go to work tomorrow but not because I dislike the job I love the job it's just the whole kind of having to get up and get the kids ready go to work come home have dinner cook dinner all that kind of stuff it's just that kind of it's tiring it's actually really tiring I kind of get to Saturday and I'm just like oh thank goodness I don't have to get up and be somewhere like that's the hard part I think um I like the kind of freedom of the weekends where you can just do anything but I mean even when it's when I'm not at work and Annabelle's at school the whole kind of school run that's the kind of like chore it's like it's such an effort like I'm sure if you have kids that go to kind of school um you'll know that the school run is kind of like it's so hard to kind of get everyone up and out the door um so yeah um but i wouldn't I'm, i wouldn't change it now like um i like the kind of the freedom of 
going to work and having a bit of a break from the kids and then coming back and I like the having my own kind of like disposable income because I think it's harder when you're a stay at home mum if you don't have like a kind of like your own source of income then it's harder because then you have to kind of almost question more what you're spending your money on whereas if you have your own income then you're kind of there's a bit more of that kind of freedom where you kind of think oh yeah I've got this like extra bit of cash that I can just spend on something that I want to spend it on um, and I still feel bad obviously like if I buy something for myself over something for the kids then I feel like awful about it but um, I guess that's just the part of being a mum. Anyway I'm going to stop rambling and I am going to say goodbye and I will see you very soon and I hope you liked this video. If you did please give it a big like and please subscribe to my channel for more. It is um, like such an incentive to me to kind of film more videos if you subscribe and please feel free to leave a comment um i love reading the comments um on the videos uh and i will stop blabbering and see bye